Yo, what's going on guys, Manny here and welcome to the last game of the season and what a game it is. I explained before about the format of the league. We are now in the playoff final against the Wall FC. So despite literally topping the table and going unbeaten, we have to play this playoff final in order to officially win the league. We recently played the wall and beat them 1-0 in a narrow victory. So this one is not going to be easy by any stretch of the imagination. Also, got to mention, they beat SE Dons 3-0 on the way to get to this playoff final. Last week's man of the match has to go to Brad. And it was close. I was thinking Vance did really well. Uh, but Brad, for me, just some of the interventions that he made, interceptions that he made, and especially that one in the last moment of the game, that was massive. That made us win the game. So I'm going to give uh, man of the match to Brad. Anyway, the lineup for this massive game is this. John in goal, Brad at right back, Ben and Harry at centre back, left back Tolu. In midfield, we've got Adem, Vance and Eric. Starting out on the right is going to be Sam. Over on the left is going to be Eri. And up top is going to be Benny. For the subs bench looking like this, George, Junior, Quams, Lanray and Reggie. In the mud! You don't have been here. We've done it here already. We need to do it again. I'm gonna ignore that warm-up. I can't lie to you, I wasn't happy with that. But we need to raise a level as soon as that whistle goes. We need to understand we have a to the league, we ain't won the league yet. It means all cool if we don't win today. I don't need to tell you. I don't need to sound like a broken record. I don't need to sound like a fing idiot every week. You don't know what we expect of you. Work harder than them. Want more than them. I mean, fing up like victims today. It's as simple as that. Also, we have some massive news. Myself and Under the Radar FC will be partnering up with Absolute United in a number of ways, not just limited to the pitch. You may remember a few weeks ago, we played against SE Dons at the Fleet and Ebbs Fleet allowed us to use their home ground in what was an amazing fixture for us. And as I said, we're looking to do a lot more, such as the Ebbs Fleet Digital Experience. This is gonna be a home of events for gaming, esports, and more. If you guys wanna find out more information, make sure to check the link down in the description below on how you can get involved as the UTR fam and get a bit closer to what we're looking to do. But yeah, plenty more coming in the future. Keep your eyes peeled. All the formalities are out of the way. Benny at the halfway line. Uh, the referee's blown his whistle and play is underway. What an occasion this is. And despite us not being entirely sure of the format, it is what it is and we have to play the game. Ben on the ball, head up, searching for a ball into the channel. It's gonna fall short, it's cut out by a wall shirt. Uh, comes down here to a dem, it's a little bit of a loose pass into Danny Bassett who's alive to get there first. Harry comes across, uh, Ben's gonna get his body in front and hopefully clear this one for us. Plays down the line to a dem, lets it run through his legs, it's cut out by Meeks there. And it's going to be a UTR throw. Dem sets the ball back to Bradley. He takes a quick long one down the line. Benny wins the first ball. Uh, going to drop down here to Eric. A little bit for loose touch. Uh, Dem takes over, plays it to his left to Sam. You know what Sam's going to do in this position. He's going to shoot, lets it go, and it's gone all the way in. Just on the minute mark, Sam Bailey hits the target for UTR. And it's an early goal, which will only give us confidence. The wall will be stunned by that. And Sam gets his goal so early. 
I've barely taken my seat. 1-0 UT already, and this is exactly how they wanted to start the final. Eric has attempted to pluck the ball out of the sky with his left. It's a little bit loose, but Adem is the first to react beyond two wall players. He then plays a the through ball to Sam, who tests the goalkeeper earlier on. And this is why we say you don't shoot, you don't score. He's driven the strike low and hard, and it's skipped on the turf just above the reach of the goalkeeper. And this is exactly how UT would have hoped they would have started this final. 1-0. Almost absolutely out of nothing. Adem plays it across. Sam, head up. You can see him. He's in space. You can't give him too much space to shoot. Otherwise, he will punish you. And he does just that. 1-0 to UTR. Just the start we were looking for. It's a throw in for the wall. 14 brings it down, almost tackled by his own player. Uh, tries to get across into the box, blocked by Eric. That'll be a corner. On that corner, it's an outswinger high into the box. Five gets his head to it. 17 goes for the acrobatic and misses it. Beaks on the ball now for uh, the wall. Cutting inside, plays it into uh, the 14 there. Shrugs off a few challenges, goes to ground off of Sam's tackle. And that's definitely a foul. On this free kick is the 21. Right footed, curls it round the wall, straight into John's hands. Collects it nicely. Yet another throw for the wall. It's played into the 17. Uh, gets a cross in. Ben's there to deal with it first. Going to drop on the edge of the box for Dem. Heads it back to Tolu, who will clear. Dem's in possession for UTR. Plays a little ball into the space for Eric. The midfielders seem to have forgotten about Eric there. He's played a nice outside of the boot ball for Benny to chase, and he's going to get there. Can he do anything to get in front of the defender? Not on this occasion. Both teams uh, trying to suss each other out in the early stages of this game. It's the wall who look a little bit more likely at the moment since we've scored the goal. 14 out here to Jeff, who's driving in field. We've allowed him to run, allowed him to run too far. Takes it back onto his right, deflected off of Ben, and it's going to go behind for a corner. Wall corner, left footed, in swinging this time into John's hands, and he's just going to go to ground and uh, slow it down for us. Bouncing ball, Danny Bassett trying to hold off Harry, gets in front of Vance as well. Uh, looks to go out wide, Tolly makes a challenge, the referee points for a throw though and says he's gotten all of the ball. Seems to have got caught in the shin in the process. One thing I've noticed early doors is they are giving us quite a bit of space as Ben finds yet another pass out of defence. Benny's held it up very well, played it to a Dem. He's got Vance with him, Vance sees the run of Erie in behind, plays it through to him. Linesman flags for offside. Back with UTR, cleared up the field by Tolu for Benny. Benny's going to hold it up once more. Uh, plays it back here to Adem. First time pass for Eric to chase. He's got Eric with him. Sam at the far post as well. Uh, can he do something special? He showed us a few moments in the last few weeks. Couple of step overs there. Looks to get the pass and he gets it wrong. Uh, stepped in is uh, Jay for the wall. And he's a powerful runner like a Sunday league Renato Sanchez as it goes to Jeff there. Beautiful turn there on Tolu. Uh, left him there on skates. Plays it out here to Danny Bass. This, uh, this is a good counter attack here. Comes here to Meeks now. Time to maybe get a shot off. It's blocked by Adem and goes behind for a corner. Right footer, in swinging. Decent delivery, misses Bradley's head. Harry's there though, comes to a Dem, he thumps it clear. The Wall have responded very well since conceding that goal in the first minute. 15 tries to thread a pass through, cut out by Ben. Uh, rolls here to the 14, loose pass though. Eri's gonna be first to it. Can we start a counter attack of our own? Uh, it's a little one-two here between Vance and Eric. They combined well in that last game as well in midfield. Uh, a Dem on the ball, looking to slow it down for us and uh, give us that composure again. Plays it to Eric in space. Eric outside of the boot uh, to Eri. Eri takes it past the goalkeeper and he's got the open goal to place it into. That's 2-0. I'm not sure about the celebration, but the goal was something quite special. Built up from the back. Uh, Vance and Eric starting that. And um, Eric with the pass through to Eri. We've got the goal. Brilliant goal from Eri to double UTR's lead and everything seems to be clicking right now. It's a loose pass from the Wolves 14, which is picked up by the Starboy, who gives it off to the UTR midfield and lets them work their magic. They're playing one twos, intricate through balls. The wall can't get near them. They find their pockets of space and the ball finds its way to Eric, who plays a delightful Trevella through ball into the path of Eri, who beats his man, takes a touch past the goalkeeper, finishes into the open net. And I'm not so sure about the celebration, but I'm sure about the scoreline. 2-0 UTR and the wall have a massive wall to climb right now. Very tidy stuff from UTR. A dem into Eric again. The midfield forgotten about Eric, giving him too much room. It's not a player you want to do that to. Plays it to Eri. The pass is perfect. The touch is perfect. And the finish, fantastic. 2 0 to UTR. What a brilliant start to the first half. The 
exactly what we needed after the way they responded uh, to that first goal. They looked like they could have gotten a goal at any moment, really, uh, once they got things right. Jeff trying to turn in between UTR shirts, gets the luck there. That challenge from Toledo. Wall throwing, taken from the right. Danny Bassett smacks one across the box, bends in the way. Tolu uh, tries to follow up on that clearance. It's a loose one though. Uh, loose touch from Jay as well for the wall. One, two between Vance and Adem goes wrong as Adem gets eased off the ball by the 21, trying to win possession back. He's played it to the nine, got the 14 in support, 15 also joining the attack as well. He's not gonna use him this time. Uh, played to the 21, challenged by Adem, just out the reach of Sam Bailey, comes to the 15, left it across, across the box, all the way to the back post. And there to tap it in is Danny Bassett. It's game on. He caused problems in the first game that he's played against us for the wall. He's doing it again now. 2-1. The Wall have got themselves right back into this final here. And this is proving to be an exciting game. 14 who made the mistake earlier has cut the ball back to the edge of the area. The ball is tackled by Adem, but it falls into the path of the 15. Who pushes the ball past Sam, beats him and puts a dangerous ball into the six yard box. 14 then puts his head into a dangerous area. The ball then falls kindly to Danny Bassett, who six yard out was never missing from there. 2-1, game back on. I have to say, very patient build up from the Wall. We had shirts and plenty of shirts behind the ball. Uh, unlucky with the challenge there, just out the reach of Bailey. Good ball from the 15, asking questions of his attack and have they answered them? 2-1. So then, I guess that makes things interesting. It's Jeff on the ball, into the striker, gets it back. Jeff goes for the right foot shot, I think deflected by Harry and straight at John. We have to be careful not to be too casual. It's Harry to Vance. Vance is going to lose it there. Holds on to the 14 for a little bit. The referee lets him get away with it. I think he's given the advantage though. And he's going to pull it back. 21 on the set piece, just on the edge of the centre circle. Shintendo 64 from the 19. It's gone high up into the air. And Ben's going to see it out for a goal kick. Meeks driving down this left hand side for the wall. Trips on the ball. Brad and Eric in his way too. Uh, Eric tries to escape from him, which he does. And he slows it down. It's played back here to Tolu. Uh, Eri's in space on this left-hand side and he sees him. Eri's got Vance in support if he uses him. He skips away from Jeff. I think he thought it went out of play. Eri down this left-hand side, puts on the burners, puts it into the box and into the keeper's hands. Unlucky. Five uh, for the wall. Ball from the back. Missed Bradley. It's gone all the way through. Danny Bassett chasing. John's quick off his line. Fantastic positioning. That's it on the right. Two UTR shirts to beat. Beats them with a pass. Plays it to Jeff. Jeff up against Vance. Gets to the byline. Cuts it back. And Ben's there. It's a corner for the wall. Ball into the box. Still failing to really get the delivery right. It's here with the 14. Escapes from a dem. Tries to get a shot off. Benny shoves into the ground. The referee points in the direction of our goal. And that's a wall free kick. Green man standing on the free kick. Looking like Pirlo, Dino and David Beckham. Standing over it is 21. It's going to be Pirlo it looks like. Right foot over the wall and towards the goal. Uh, John has to make a decent save to his left. He was asking questions. Yet another set piece, another corner for the wall. Left footed, better delivery in this time. Uh, hits off a of Harry, smacked away by Tolu. He's gonna come down this near side to uh, Sam, who's quickly pressured by the number eight. Fouls him and stops the counter attack. It is now with Vance on this left hand side. Up against Jeff, skips past him, nice feet. Uh, cutting inside, needs to get the ball back under control, which he does. He's got Eri with him. Uh, Eri Gonna play the one, two, give it back to him. Eric's got his arms out, beckoning for the ball. He sees that Sam Bailey in the box instead and Sam tucks it away to make it 3-1. Questions of offside, but we have to give credit to that pass. Vance started that attack there down that left-hand side. Kept the ball, got it under control and he saw that pass into uh, Sam, which many people might not have seen. And just like that, UTR have regained their two goal lead. What a game this has been so far. And a lot of credit has to be given to the big game player, Vance Bola, who Jinky Majinxon beats his man down the left wing with ease, plays a one-two with the star boy, clips a delightful ball over the top to Sam Bailey, who brings the ball down with the grace of a prime Berbatov and finishes with the ruthlessness of a Haaland. What a goal that is. 3-1 UTR. What a final this has been so far. Hopefully, we can see more of the same. I said they had a patient build up for their goal. This was something quite like it as well. Fantastic touch. It needs to get some credit after the pass. I was, I was guessing the pass, but the touch as well from Sam. Quite something.
So we've regained our two goal lead. This is Jay on the ball. As I said, strong runner on the ball. And uh, he's trying to prove that again here, but he runs into two of our walls there. Harry and Tolu. Adem's got it on this near side, looking for a way out. Uh, plays it back to Tolu, rolls it out his feet and sees a ball up the pitch to Benny. Benny's done well with his hold up so far and he continues in that vein as he's got Sam Bailey to his right. Uh, Sam, we know in this area can be very dangerous, looking to cut inside. Is he going to let one go? He's done it once before already, sees Vance, goes into Vance. Vance feels like he might have been fouled. The referee waves play on and the wall might have an opportunity to counter-attack. It's Jeff up against Eric, size him up, step over, see you later. Eric, he's sent him to Mount Everest and back. Plays out wide here to the 14, driving to the UTR box. Tolu comes across, makes the challenge. The referee points for a corner. What's the delivery like for them now? It's a ball into the box. It's going to make his way all the way through. Danny Bassett gets under control. It's blocked by Vance. Bassett still trying to find a way to go. Oh, through the legs of a dem. He's even put his hands up because he knows he's been done there. Corner for the wall. Getting bored of saying this now. Harry wins the first ball. He's already nutmegged a dem once. Can he do it again? A dem this time actually nutmegged Sam with the tackle. And uh, he's going to play it to Brad. It's hit off Bassett and that's going to be a UTR throw. Can they get another goal back and make it interesting once more? It's Jeff who's caused problems down this right hand side. He's been a handful so far and I'm pretty sure it's not the last we'll see of him. That's a nice bridge touch from that man, uh, but Harry's in the way of his cross and plays it out. They're going for it. It's into Jeff, up against Eric. Able to wriggle away initially. Eric makes the challenge. Nothing uh, doing there, says the referee. Can we get away and up the pitch? Eric spins there, he's got Vance in the middle, uh, but we've had to pull it back for an injury. I think a clash of knees between uh, Jeff and Tolu. Meanwhile, we've got problems of our own. Eric saying he can't see, I think he took a knock to the head at some point, not sure where, but it's looking like we're gonna have to make a change. We're gonna bring Junior on in his place. So it's just as good as a replacement. You have to see more from Junior though. He's uh, had a good start initially, but you haven't seen too much of him since. But we know he's got something special to see it. Ben, so much space they've given us uh, as he switches the play. Junior's first touch, beautiful touch, plays it into a dem, tries to flick it around the 21, claiming for a handball, referee waves play on. Jay for the wall, skipper, armband on his left. Uh, he's got Jeff with him, plays it to Jeff. Jeff gets away from Tolu, uh, gets the ball back. He plays it, looking for Bassett. It doesn't really go how he wanted it to, but Meeks has kept it alive for them. Comes back here to Jay, uh, into Jeff. Jeff takes the touch, Vance gets his body in front and wins possession back for UTR. Tries to find a dem. Look like we might be playing in dangerous waters right now, but we've worked it very nicely actually. He's gonna come here to a dem. We slow it down, keep possession for UTR as yes, he can. Comes back here to Vance, looks out to the right. Uh, we're looking like we might be stopping play. Sam's tried to let it go out of play, tried to stop it as well. Yeah, I think it's the challenge between the four and Junior. Let's see it. Four goes into the back of Junior. I don't really know what he's gone down for, if he's hit his chin or something. Junior got a knock there. Heavy one. Hope he's okay. Bit of dialogue going on between the two teams. We're saying that we should get the ball back because we tried to let it go out of play. It was their player who initially stopped it. They don't feel like we put it out of play, so it looks like they're going to play on, but uh, a lot of our players weren't happy with that decision and we were very surprised by it. Anyway, play resumes and it's Jeff cutting in from that right side, going for the one-two with Bassett, gets it back and the shot isn't quite tidy. Still though, he's giving it a good go and uh, if he keeps doing that, it will still be causing us a few issues as a Dem plays a ball here. It's short there for Ben, Bassett gets ahead of him there and who's there? Bradley sweeping up, Vance with it, uh, plays it into a Dem. He's got so much space around him, they've done that a few times this game, just left us with uh, gaps in the midfield and room for our midfielders to enjoy themselves as Vance turns nicely, plays it into Benny. Benny couldn't get his body in front there. Junior on it, claiming for a foul. Referee's not going to give that. A long ball up the pitch. Half time will be uh, coming at any moment. It's a touch off Benny's back. Junior tried to take over. Benny uh, does well and gets a bit of jam. Gets away from the four there. Uh, still trying to go for UTR. He's uh, missed the 19 as he tried to shove him off the ball and he's lost his balance there as well. Good play from the 19. Tries to get away from Vance. Gets his body in front, comes across. The junior, 21 goes flying across and uh, they win the ball back. Not long at all left in the half. A goal before it will be massive for the wall. Five lines are shot up. And that's all he's done. He's pinged it into the stands. 21 on the ball. The referee looks at his watch, blows the whistle. And that is half time. What an entertaining first half it's been. 3-1. And I have to say, there's definitely more goals in this game. It's just a matter of time.
UTR got off to a flying start in this SFL playoff final, scoring within the first minute and doubling their lead within 15 minutes and having their opposition's backs up against the wall, pun intended. However, we do see that both ties do have the quality to score goals with the wall halving the deficit just after conceding the second goal. Sam Bailey did give UTR their two goal advantage back. He'll be looking to get a hat-trick in the second half. But I do have to say, if UTR can keep composed, stay disciplined within the midfield and not get complacent, this is their game to lose. Listen, honestly, I can't fault the clinicalness that we have had this game. I can't fault the slides. We've had about four or five chances and we scored three. Amazing. What is my issue? We're not controlling the ball enough for you. We're allowing them time and space on the ball to pick up stupid passes. And if, if, if I'm being honest, their only way in is that right winger is trying to just do run through everyone. And Bassett's trying to run through everyone. But we need to have control of this ball in this second half. And we need to dictate it now. We need to. It's very, very simple how we finish this game, boys. We finish this game by getting back on this ball and punishing that keeper. That keeper hasn't saved the ball today. We cannot overcomplicate this second half now. We are fing winning. We have, I have seen 11 leaders on that pitch so far. I need 11 leaders to end this game. It's as simple as that. The only way they get back into the game is if we get lazy. The only reason we, they scored is because we got a bit lazy around the edge of the box and just let them get back to it after we didn't clear our lines properly. I think simply, if we actually go back to basics and how we were playing the first 10 minutes of the game, that's it, game done, done conclusion. Into the second half, the wall get underway. Uh, they're gonna look long, it seems. You know, that old one that everybody does out to the left. It's gonna come here for John. It's caught by Meeks a little bit, nothing too serious. They still have plenty of time to get back into this game. We need to be wary of that and make sure that we're defending correctly. That's nice from Tolu and Eric combining to win possession back for UTR. Dem gets the ball back to Eric. There's a ball in behind, like similar to the one he played to Eri. Can Benny do something? He's tried to cut back, comes back here to Eric. Scuffed shot, comes to Sam. And it's a good save from the goalkeeper down to his right. Keeps the score at 3-1. Eric with it for UTR, onto Vance, Vance skips away from the 21, tries to be too clever though with the roulette and Jay's dispossessed him, he's got Jeff making a run forward down this right hand side, uh, Jeff going towards goal, can he go one on one with John and score, it's gone in off the post, has it come off the post and come back out, no, the referee's given the goal and I think it's the right decision, uh, silly silly play from us to give away the ball as we did and that's not good enough. Seems like a case of curse of the commentator here, really. France finds himself inside the wall half. He beats his first man and he tries to roulette the wall captain, but he's having absolutely none of it. He's dispossessed. Wall captain then plays a through ball into the number 17, who takes three touches, one to get in front of his pass, two to steady himself, and the third to finish it beyond joining the bottom left-hand corner. Questions of it maybe not going in because they hit the stanchion, but it's been given 3-2 and the wall now have 40 minutes on the clock to find an equaliser. Vance trying to be too clever. Jay holding him off uh, despite losing his balance. Gets the pass off to Jeff. Eric was chasing back. Bradley was there too, but not close enough to stop Jeff from doing this and placing it into the bottom corner. There, it's 3-2, game on. a handful all game and despite missing a few shots it was only a matter of time before he got one on target it's Meeks on the ball into Danny Bassett Ben holding him up plays it back to the 14 his shots blocked cleared away by Bradley and Eric will get rid surely we have to be clever now Vance steps in front of the 14 he's done well look they're grinding confidence with every attack every touch of the ball which if you're in a UTR shirt is the last thing you want to see it's Meeks on the ball trying to give Bradley the steps Bradley sticking with him blocks it uh, gets a second opportunity into John's hands Harry with the ball, uh, plays it out to Tolu. Tolu knocks one into the middle for Eric. Eric with a flick, it's the last thing we need right now. He's gonna drop here to Meeks. Uh, Meeks trying to show the footwork once more. Uh, takes it away from Eric, still driving into the box. Goes for the left foot shot, it's not far, but he couldn't keep it down. Wall really trying to turn the screw, it's a corner. Poor delivery to the front post. Bradley's clearance is also poor though, and it only goes into the box. Meeks' is header doesn't really go anywhere that can cause problems though. It's a ball cleared away and it's brought down by Adem. Down this near side, Adem doing well. He's a one-man army at the moment. Level 45 on Call of Duty, Modern Warfare 2. Switches the play, looking for Sam. It would have been a great ball. Great play from him to get us up the pitch anyway. 
Unfortunately, it came to nothing. At the back with the wall, searching ball up the pitch. Vance cuts it out, loses possession to Jay here. Uh, Jay into Danny Bassett, little one two. Good improvisation to get away. Tolu's chopped him down, and that's the definite foul. It's one to stop the, the attack, and he knows sometimes you have to do that, so he's always going to collect a card for us. Not a great challenge, but Vance being so helpful, picking something off the referee's head. But all day, it's going to be a yellow card for Tolu. <laughs> 21 with the free kick. It's floated, the wind's held it up. Five gets his head to it up against Ben. Uh, can he get a ball into the box? Five still holding it up, tries to get one in, and that's a UTR goal kick. It's in the air, waiting for a challenge. Jeff wins the first ball, drops head to a Dem. Can he slow it down for us? He's able to get a pass through to Vance. Vance spreads the play here to Sam. Sam has Eric and Benny uh, in the attack with him. Can he make something happen for us? He's done it twice already this game. Uh, up against the 15, it's good defending. Now for the corner. Sam on the corner, left-footed ball into the box. Curling, punched away by the goalkeeper, drops head to Jeff and uh, not much doing. Jeff on this right side, scored a goal, uh, must be brimming with confidence there. He's putting a challenge on Junior, he's kind of gone studs up, which uh, Junior's gone down, writhing in pain at the moment. The linesman's flagged for a throw, we'll get another look at it. He's gone studs up, I don't know how much a Junior is caught, but Junior on the day made it clear to us that he felt he'd been caught quite badly. And actually, in the end, it's gonna force him to come off the pitch. Lamre is gonna take his position, not a bad substitution. Must have been caught quite badly because we had to go old school and carry him away from the pitch. And he's not a light guy despite his frame. Jeff on the ball, just over 20 minutes to play. Uh, Meeks finds himself in behind Vance. Can he find a shot as well? And he finds the ad boards. Time is ticking, they're running out of it. I'm sure they're aware of it. Ben has absolutely cleaned through Danny Bassett. It's not a good challenge at all, he knows that. Uh, I'm sure he's got a few of those in his career as well, Ben. And uh, Danny Bassett not happy with the challenge. Always gonna be a yellow card. They've gone for the free kick, whipped to the back post. Five jump in there, wins the first ball, drops the 14 and they sliced it. Substitution for UTR, Benny's done well with his hold up today. Not really happened for him in front of goal, not really had any opportunities either. George takes his place and Vance goes up top. Eric with it, plays it back here to George. Plays a pass in between to Vance and uh, Vance lets it run to Lamre. Lamre going towards goal, he's got Vance to his left still, couldn't get the pass right. And uh, the idea was there, not the execution. Five, carrying the ball from the wall. Uh, tries to find a pass in behind and it's not a bad pass at all. It's uh, beating a lot of UTR shirts, comes back to the 14. Shot blocked by Ben. Wall corner, they've had must be up to 10 this game. It's a header away from Harry, drops into the box. It looks like it might still happen for them here. It's a block by Tolu and a fantastic one. It's still going though, can they keep building? It's a reverse pass into Danny Bassett. Uh, he sees Jeff in space. Jeff cuts one across the box. And John does well to get there. I'm not sure Bradley would have at the back of the wall. They're gonna play it out of play though. I think one of their players might be down. Someone's down, I'm not sure who it is. Uh, but them saying there, we're not giving it back to you. You didn't give it back to us. We're not giving it back to you. And uh, I guess, to be fair, it's tit for tat. Eye for an eye. Uh, Vance trying to argue his point there, saying that Bailey left it and was letting it go out of play. Their player stopped it. But it seems like we're not gonna show the sportsmanship. So it's totally gone out the window. And uh, we're gonna play on two. Eric on the ball. Uh, plays it with them. With them turns away from the 29. I think it's the 29. Looks like a 23 as well. That's the floodlight making it difficult. Uh, Bradley plays it back to Eric. Eric turns away. Plays a pass there. Another short pass from UTR. We've had a few of those today. Danny Bassett driving forward there. Knocks it past Harry. Uh, Ben's going to let it run through for John. That's good defending. Is it cramp or was it just a terrible pass? Eric's gone down there. Played out to the right here. Number four on the ball. Threads run through. Tolu crunching challenge there. Gets the ball though. Knocked back out wide here to Jeff, gets it out of his feet. Right foot delivery, back post searching. Uh, goes all the way through, it looks like it might run out. Kept in by the 15, just about. Up against Sam, tips it to the left. Gets around Sam. Uh, here with the 29, dropping a little shimmy. Can he get it to the byline and cross? Out for a goal kick. There are bodies dropping everywhere. The wall had, I think this is their third game in six days as well. So it might have been a lot for them after a very long season anyway. So it's evident, you can see it on the pitch today. Not long left to go. We are almost nearing the 90 minute mark. Uh, they've just gotten that one ahead of Vance. Jay knocks it round to the 11, comes back here to the 21, goes for goal. It's wide of the goal. 
We're trying to get back into their half. That's where we need it at the moment. 90 minutes have been played. We're into additional time. It's flipped around the corner. Tolu gets there. It's Eric into Vance. Vance tries to return the favour. And that's good defending there to hold off Eric. Shield it for his keeper. The wall still coming at us. They're running out of time. Nice little turn from the 21. Comes there to the 29. He's claiming for a foul. The referee's not going to give it. There to Lamry. In danger. Gets out of it by drawing the foul. Experience. Really, really, really running out of time now. As uh, Jeff has still got so much energy this late in the game. We're into additional time and he's still going. He's played it to his left. The ball into the box. And Ben, who's been outstanding all day, has been in the right position once again. Yet another fly goes to the ground. Two goals on the score sheet is Sam. And uh, we're going to have to make a change. Not sure if it was a time-wasting technique or if he was really feeling his hamstring. But Reggie makes his way onto the field. Long throw from uh, the wall into the box. Ben's there. Reggie's there too. Five recycles it. Back into the box. We have to deal with this. Tolu's there. Not quite dealt with. Reggie gets it away. Drops to the 21. Let's one go. Straight into the stands. Into the 96th minute. So many players have gone down, so the additional time is probably accurate. This is coming like the World Cup. Adem smacks it off of uh, Jeff. Lamre sizes up the four and gets away from him. Can we make something special happen? Can we take it to the corner and kill the clock? To Dem and to Vance. Vance put under pressure by the 11, and Adem lets him know. Have they got one more moment in them? 21 with it. Uh, plays it into the space. Tolu up against Bassett. Tolu wins that one. On a yellow card, needs to be careful though. Uh, Lanry going to play it down the line. Vance up against the 19 there. Can't keep it in play, but it's better up that end. One last moment. It's off the head of the four. Danny Bassett flicks it around the corner. Jeff into the box, cuts it back. George is there. Fantastic challenge. And the referee blows his whistle. UTR have done it. No one can say otherwise now. I'm beaten in the league. We've done the playoff final. So we officially have won the first ever SFL uh, league title and what a way to do it as well uh, a fantastic game between us and the wall they battled the whole way through and made it so so interesting the credit to them as well uh, what a game father and son duo that's what it is hey Marv this is sticky on me sticky on me sticky on me sticky on me